Hey there, and welcome to Goddess on the Rise. I am your host, Sarah Berg, and this podcast is all about empowering women, living in your truth, loving your body as it is in your journey to self-love. You can find this podcast to be real, raw, authentic, and truth. So buckle up, girlfriend, because we are going for a ride. What is up, you guys? Oh my gosh. Don't know if you can tell. I'm a little bit excited. This podcast episode is gonna be lit. Okay, so if you have not, I need you to go run over to my Instagram. You could do it right now while you're listening to this podcast and check out the TikTok video I did. It is literally the cutest freaking thing, if I say so myself, and it's literally, it's like all about what I do to get ready for a podcast for you guys. Um, A lot of the podcasts I do are very like, I put my heart and soul into them, so I feel like I have to get into the right energetic mode for those, and I've really been tapping into that side of me. It feels fucking lit. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, so today's podcast episode is all about stepping into yourself. Stepping into your authentic self, living a real, raw, authentic freaking life. That's what I'm trying to be about. That's what I've preached about being about. That is what my podcast is about (laughs) living a real raw and authentic life. Am I right? I'm right. I know I'm right. I'm right. So basically, like, I want to be real raw and authentic with you guys right now in this moment because I started this podcast with the hopes that I would inspire and motivate and you know, be real with you guys. There's too much freaking fakeness out in this damn world that we're living in today. There's too much bullshit. And I wanted to cut through that. And I feel like for the most part, I've done a good job with it, but I could be better. My consistency with this podcast, I'm calling myself out right the fuck now. Right now. My consistency with this podcast needs freaking work. My message needs freaking work. And I know this and I'm about to dive all the way in with you guys. So hang me, hang with me here, please. Just please hang with me. I need to tell you guys this because I need to keep myself accountable if I'm being honest. And with the motto that I've had, the motto, (laughs) the motto that I had with this podcast was real, raw, and authentic. And as much as I like to say I've been that way, which I have, I haven't been that way a hundred freaking percent. And it's about to change because if I'm being honest, I'm tired of living in a damn box. I'm tired of worrying about who the hell I'm going to offend. I'm tired of censoring myself. I cuss and I love Jesus. I really, really do. And I cuss and I am the girl that I don't, if I'm being freaking honest, I don't give a fuck if I post a raunchy ass pic. And by raunchy ass pic, my definition of that for myself just means a freaking booty shot in a bikini pic. Who the hell cares, right? Like this is my body. And when I post things like that, and let me tell you this for a little side note here. If you post shit like that and you're just posting it to post it, go the fuck off, girl. Do it. Do it. And for me, I post that because number one, it makes me feel good. Number two, I love my, I love my damn body. Not every day. But I love it. And I've worked a really, really 
really long time to get where I am today. And I share that with you guys 100% because maybe, just maybe, I can inspire you. I can inspire you to love your body, to put on that damn swimsuit and not give a fuck what anybody else thinks about you. I'm just going to go off, okay? I'm going to go off. And this, this episode, this is who I am. And I've been so scared. I've been so damn scared to live in my true, authentic self because I've been scared of judgment because I've had haters, and some of you guys have been around for that. And it took it took me a lot to come back from that. And then something happened that was a very, 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 very personal. Um, and I'm almost a little tea, but not too much tea because... <laughs> It's personal, um, like super, super personal. I share almost everything with you guys, but I can't share like all of this. But um, back when I lived in Virginia Beach was like 2017. I did this freaking amazing photo shoot with this amazing um, photographer. And I posted some of the pics and it was on the beach. It was right before I moved. It was like May, I think it was. Um, and actually it was the end of April. <laughs> I did this photo shoot, right? And I was in a bikini in some of it. And I was just like really showing off my curves and really showing off um just who I was. And I m- posted it with a caption about... um I don't know. I think it was, it was probably something about body positivity. I can't even remember. It was back in 2017. And, um, from that post in that picture, and if you guys are wondering which, which picture it is, I will post it, um, in today's, uh, when I announced the episode, you should be able to go on my Instagram right now and go look it up the picture. Um, it, it was so freaking tasteful, but I'm going to post it so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, by the way, my Instagram is goddess on the rise underscore. Once again, it is goddess on the rise underscore. So if you're not following me, please go do that right now and check out the picture that I'm talking about. You'll see the TikTok video. You swipe, there's the picture. Okay. So anyways, I posted this picture. We came home. Um, I moved home shortly after that because my husband was deploying and we were having to move to Washington State once he got back from deployment. So um, we went home and we enjoyed some time together with family, right? Well, during that time, there was an argument that happened and um, I'm not going to say if it was like with family or if it was with someone else, but here's what I will say. I was called a slut for posting that pic and that it wasn't like a tasteful pic. And I like internalized that fucking big time. First of all, I am like, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm, oh my God, I'm calling my stuff out on this podcast. I really am. But I am going to be real, raw, and authentic right now in this moment. Before I was with my husband, I was a freaking hoe. And actually, I was really embarrassed about that. I personally, I know why. I had slept around trying to find love, replace the love I had lost. And I thought that's how I needed to do it. And I know now that that's not the case. Love comes within, not from men. Ooh, girl, write that freaking down. Love comes within, not from men. What, what, what? Okay. <laughs> Although... Thank God my husband does really, really love me. Um, But anyways, like I said, I'm calling my shit out. I'm tired. I am tired of not living in my freaking truth. I'm over it, sister. I am over it. 
And while I know my sex life does not freaking matter to anybody and it, it shouldn't ever pertain to anybody, I need to be honest. I need to be really, really honest. That word was a trigger for me because I hadn't done the work yet. I hadn't worked on myself yet. And now I have a very healthy relationship with myself. And instead of me thinking that I was a hoe back then, <laughs> I know that that was okay. That was who I was in that moment. That is a part of me I am not going to take back. I will not take back. I will not be ashamed of because (laughs) it made me who I am today. I needed to go through that to be who I am today in this moment right now, sharing my heart with you. Okay. So back to the slut thing. They called me that. I was called that. And (laughs) I knew that me posting bikini picture did not equal slut. Okay. I knew that. I had to the work for that part. I knew that part. And I know part of that, why I was being called that was for other reasons. And that's okay. I've forgave that. And I moved on. Apologies were said. Things happened. It's better. Everything's good with that part. But here's what I will say. There was a part of me that internalized that and it took a long time for me to do the work on that. A long ass time. And when I say a long ass time, I mean like (laughs) up until this fucking week, guys. (laughs) I have been so scared to post certain things because like, I'm like, okay, is someone going to judge me? Are they going to judge me? I don't want to offend them. I don't want to upset them. I I don't want to do this. Um, what are they going to say about me? Just freaking major, major worry about judgment. And I took this amazing brand masterclass and it really helped me just, it. Oh God, you guys, it really helped me realize that was one of my fears was judgment and help me push past that and same with imposter syndrome for me I've struggled with that big time and the reason why I struggled with this you guys are not gonna freaking believe this this is the most stupidest shit I've ever heard of and like I said call my ass out right now I followed this girl on Instagram And she was basically downgrading um, MLMs, Beachbody coaches, anybody that was a social media influencer. And just like, I, I don't know, it's not that I took offense to it, but it's like, I internalized that and I was like, well, what the fuck? Like, what, what does that make me? Maybe I know nothing. Like, oh my God, are you shitting me right now? Shut the F up, Sarah. Seriously. (laughs) I had to like reel it back in and be like, listen, I'm a nurse. I've done lots of freaking research. I share knowledge responsibly. I am not. I am not an imposter. I am Sarah Brooke Berg. (laughs) I've done my fucking research. I know what I know. I believe in what I believe in. And I don't share things without disclaimers. I don't share things that hasn't been researched. I don't share things that I do not believe in. So why the hell did I let this random ass girl on Instagram that I followed get in my head? I don't know. (laughs) I don't have the answer to that. I, my confidence wasn't there. I think that's what it was. My confidence wasn't there. But here's what I did. Can I tell you guys what I did? I freaking unfollowed that girl. She did not serve me. She didn't do me any justice. And guess what? I didn't have to announce it to her. <laughs> I just unfollowed her because she did not make me feel good. But I guarantee you her post resonate with another woman. And that's okay. <laughs> She's not a bad person. I just did not resonate with her. And I'm telling you guys this because I want you guys to know the real me. I don't want to hold back anymore. 
I took a yoga class last Sunday and it was over. It was actually a really cool experience. It was unlike any yoga I've ever done before. Um, and I had a, you know, I'm still battling with some confidence issues. I'm not going to act like, you know, that's not a thing, but some of the moves were like very weird to me. And so I, I couldn't even like get into them all the way, although I know I needed to. So I tried my best to let loose. But one of the things the instructor was really, really talking about was your truth and letting it out. What needed to be said in that moment? And like, it's like automatically I knew it was judgment. I needed to let go of that shit. And I needed to let go of being an imposter. And I just needed to let go of the sphere of people not liking me because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you don't like me. What matters is that I show up for the girls out there that need to hear me, that need to hear my message, that my message resonates with them. That is what I am here for. I'm not here to walk on eggshells. I'm not here to worry about the judgment of others. I'm here to share my message because I've got something to say. And I know it's important and I know the right people need to hear it. And I, I just, I felt that way. I took that in and it felt so damn good. I really absorbed what that yoga instructor was saying and I took it to heart and it just was at the perfect timing and I have to really thank my friend on uh, Instagram for this Yolanda Russell she is the one who invited me to this yoga class she's the one who hosted this amazing breakthrough brand master class and it was just it was literally everything I needed to hear even though I was dealing with the loss of my husband's grandpa I still devoted myself to this class, showing up every day. Unfortunately, I didn't do the live videos, which I think would have helped me (laughs) call myself out on that too. But I just think that her message really resonated with me and it helped me literally break through this shit. And I just wanted to dedicate this episode to that. I wanted to dedicate this episode to me calling my shit out, to me realizing that the girl I was in 2017 took a step back because over something really stupid that was said to me. And it's time for me to get back to who I am. It's time for me to speak my goddamn truth. (laughs) Like, I know that what I need to say, and what you need to hear, the girl that's listening to this, the girl that this message resonates with, I need to speak up for you. I know you need my help, and I'm here for it. Girlfriend, I am freaking here for it. So (laughs) I just want to let you know, your girl is back, and I'm sorry I freaking left because that sucked. (laughs) It really sucked. But it's time for me to get back to myself. It's time for me to get back to my true roots. And that's this happy and hippie. And okay, if you guys don't know, I'm like the biggest freaking hippie ever. Like I'm all about energy. I'm all about mindset. I'm all about no waste, even though I still waste some and I'm trying to work on that. (laughs) And I'm all about organic and I'm all about, I'm all about love and world peace and just (laughs) good groovy baby vibes. (laughs) And I'm also about loving myself. And can I tell you something? Like, I want to be your cheerleader. I want to help you. I want to help you be the woman you want to be. I want to be the woman who helps you learn how to love yourself. I want to help you live your real, raw, authentic life with me, girl, with me. I want to help you with your health and your fitness. And most of all, I'm so excited to help you live a holistic lifestyle if that's what you're into. And when I say holistic lifestyle, I mean, your girl just found out (laughs) This is my first time I'm sharing this on any kind of social media platform, but your girl just found out she's graduating 
with her bachelor's in Ayurveda wellness and integrative health in the year 2021. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, so that's when I'll be able to start taking clients on my own for that. Um, but honestly, I'm going to be doing a podcast episode super soon about that, about Ayurveda wellness, because I've had so many questions. But anyways, anyways, I just want to be the girl. I want to be the girl for you. I want to be the girl that just helps you, really helps you live live your life um, through body positivity I want to empower you. I want you to feel good about yourself. And I want you to do that with me. So anyways, one-on-one coaching. One-on-one coaching is still available. And um, what what I really want you to know about that is it is more than just health and fitness. Like we talk about a lot of shit. (laughs) We're going to be talking about mindset. I'm going to send you affirmations. I'm going to send you a podcast. I'm going to send you book recommendations. We're going to work through some shit, you know. We're going to be as one-on-one, girl. And you also get added to my freaking amazing Facebook group. Okay, this Facebook group (laughs) is so badass. It is full of so many women who are like supporting each other and they're cheering each other on. And I'm pretty sure they could run the group without me and my girlfriend, Brandy, and actually a couple of other girls, um, Ebenisha, Ebenisha, I think I said that right, and Miranda, they have been helping. So girls, if you are listening, I freaking love you. I love all your vibes. If any of my girls are listening from our support group, I love you and I'm so freaking proud of you. Um, and just know that if you're listening and you're not a part of any of this, you can be, you can be, and we are here for you. Um, all right. So this was a lot. This was a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh my God. I'm wrapping it up and it's 11, 11 and I'm going to cry. The universe is telling me right now that this is exactly what I need to say. This is what I need to get off my chest. And I can't wait till Thursday to release this. I'm going to have to release it sooner. This is gold. This is solid fucking gold right now. If you made it through this song, I just want you to know I love you. And I'm here for you. And I see you. I hear you. And you got this, girlfriend. You really do. And thank you. Thank you so much. for being a part of this, a part of me, a part of my support system. And I just want you to know, like, I'm here to cheer you on whatever you need. And (laughs) there's so many huge ass things coming. So stay tuned. I love you guys so fucking much. All right, here are your affirmations. Let's go. Okay, guys. (laughs) So today's affirmations I've found them and they're going to be about self-forgiveness because in this moment right now, I am forgiving myself for not showing up who I wanted to be and I am forgiving myself and I'm moving on right now and maybe you need to forgive yourself for something. So take this moment, journal with it, walk with it, close your eyes, place your hand over your heart if you need to and forgive yourself for whatever it is that you've been holding on to. All right. I am human. I acted in the best way I was capable of in that moment. I have grown as a person. I am graceful for increased insight and opportunity to make a better choice from now on. I accept this about myself. I allow myself to be at peace with this. I forgive myself. (laughs) Mm, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to (laughs) cry. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this moment with me. Thank you so much for listening with me. And I promise... I'm going to be a better person, not only for you, but for me. And I think that might've came out wrong. (laughs) Not that I'm going to be a better person, but I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up and I'm going to show up as who I want to be. And I'm going to live in my damn truth. And I hope this 
inspired you to do the same and learn a little bit about your girl, Sarah. All right, guys, much love to you all. (laughs) Send you guys all the hugs, the healing vibes, the good vibes, whatever vibes you freaking need right now. Go out and manifest that shit. All right, peace out. Love you. Bye. (laughs) 